Hi everyone, I'm back with another unboxing of my monthly Jesse James Ambassador Kit. As many of you know, if you've been watching my videos for a while, I am an ambassador for Jesse James Beads. I've been an ambassador for uh, almost a year now and I absolutely love it. Every month they send me some goodies so you can see what's new on their online website and uh, talk about any deals that they might have going. Everything that I'm going to show in this video you will see in the description box below so that you can go uh, click on it and go directly to purchase the item. I do have to mention that they do if you click on the links that i provide they do provide me with a small commission so if you do click on the link i truly appreciate your support uh, because that supports my channel so let's just jump into it and check out and see what they sent me this month i'm excited to show it to you guys so let's get started so this is what we have for this month and some beautiful i'm already seeing some beautiful items as i was pulling them out i was like oh <laughs> so I'm excited to open them up. I'm going to set them here to the side and bring in my little mat so that you guys can see it a little better. And my beads don't go rolling all over the place. All right, so I've zoomed in so you guys can see up close. Like, look at this feather pendant, you guys. Isn't it gorgeous? I got this feather pendant and it is a signature stone pendant in Mountain Falcon green so that is gorgeous look at it's got a gold edge to it so i love feathers feathers are so pretty they look so pretty with uh, multiple chains so very cool we got that feather then we have another one of these chains if you saw my uh recent jesse james unboxing we've got some more of this chain so i'm excited to get even more of it and this one is called Okay, so this one is called uh, Metal Chain and Southwest Hearts, and it is copper, of course. Look at how pretty, they're all little hearts. How pretty is that? So cute, I love these little hearts. And then uh, before I continue on, I wanted to let you guys know that we are gonna be doing some design on the fly, so stay tuned for that. Don't go anywhere. Once I'm done showing you what I received, then I'm gonna go grab my tools and let's see what we can come up with. All right, so stay tuned for that. All right, so then we have this chain. This is, I forget always the name of this one. This one is Silver Interlocked. So yeah, I suppose it looks like little, um, little spirals, little uh, swirls, but smashed. <laughs> it's really pretty chain. I can always use some good chain, chain for my jewelry designs. It's cool, like hook and clasp. Hook and eye clasp in Demigod Copper. And this is brown. And again, you can find all these pieces in there on their website. Look at that, cool. That's so pretty. It's a lot cooler than the ones I make. <laughs> That's for sure. Very, very cool. All right, and then we've got, looks like some silver toggle clasps. Got the little, again, uh, you know, I use a lot of toggle clasps for necklaces that is what i like to use these for i don't don't use them very much i know you can but i don't use them very much for bracelets for some reason do you use them in bracelets let me know let me know in the comments below all right and then we have the check glass lantern and turtle turtoys tur whatever <laughs> so i'm just going to take out a few so you guys can see again this is check glass lantern oh look they're like little pyramids or something but they're really cool i love that they have they're like yeah well i guess they're little lanterns look at how pretty they got some black in there those are cool super pretty then they have this uh right now the uh bead mix special and it's uh strand and bead mix five and ten it's a deal so you get five strands or ten and they come in these deals are multicolored and it's a great way uh, for you guys to try something new and save some money so I think it's a really great deal so definitely go check it out again I will link that down below all right so let's start with these two and this one is oh okay so this is Rotonite and look at how pretty look at that these, look at these uh, these coins, aren't they beautiful? 
gorgeous and it's got some uh, antique brass or antique gold look at these beads you guys oh those are so pretty and look at this multifaceted rondelle it just sparkles the cuts on these are gorgeous and then we've got some pearls and some again brass accents and some rondelles so that's this one this one uh, it's called sandy shores and i think i've shown it to you guys we got it in a different but it's coming up here again we got it in one of our uh, magic i got it in one of my magical mystery bead boxes so i am really excited to see it again because i love look at all the seashells in here and then we've got uh, again some multifaceted rondelles and then we've got Look at this, it's got like uh, oyster shells on there. And then these gorgeous wire wrapped. I remember now, I made the I made a, a choker with this, this one. I didn't end up using this bead, so maybe we should use this one for our design on the fly today. Hmm, hmm. All right, so that one, look at these. So here we have some glass strand and that's just what it's called, glass strand. <laughs> yep. But look at again, we've got one of these gorgeous faceted coins, some squares. I love the peachy pink tones. And then this is more like a um, like a mauve colored pearl. Looks like a mauve. It looks mauvey to me with uh, some frosting, but I love the wire work around it. Look at this one. Wow, this is a, what's this one, a hectagon? I never know my shapes. You guys know that. <laughs> and then a round faceted bead. I'm going to have to study some geometry. Go back to my geometry books. So I don't, <laughs> Ooh, we're losing some beads here. It looks like the, um, uh, what you call this crimping fell off. So I'm glad I caught these in time because otherwise I'm always underneath my chair looking for beads. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we have some really pretty um, round beads, faceted, but look at these purples. So pretty. And let me see, what are these called? Better Beads by Jesse James Beads. So you get 22 beads, they're eight millimeters in purple. So, yeah, very pretty. And look at these, ooh. This one is Better Beads. I've never seen these strands on their website. Now I'm going to have to go check it out. <laughs> oh, and right now they have Beads by the Pound, you guys. If you like a chunk of beads, right now is the time to go get it. I think I have a video. I'm going to link a video of where I unboxed some Beads by the Pound. Oh my gosh, I still have a ton of those I haven't used. <laughs> Don't tell my husband. <laughs> but I love them because, like I said, you get a ton of beads for a really great price. All right, so this one, is, you get 22 beads, eight millimeter, and it's natural, the natural color. I don't know, I see some black. I don't see natural. <laughs> no, these gold tones, gold and black, and what are these, kind of like a, it looks like it's multicolored, like a rainbow finish on here. Really pretty, so a more eight millimeter beads. But these do have pearls, they're not just the faceted. All right, so this is what we have. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna go grab my stuff and kind of put on my creative cap or hat, whatever, <laughs> to see what we can come up with. I will be right back, don't go anywhere. All right, so I am back and I use, I'm gonna use this strand of the purple beads. It's uh, the same one, this one is in gold, but I love purple, so I decided to go with purple. And we're gonna make a beautiful ring just using these beads and some wire. So what you're gonna need is 20 gauge wire, or if you don't want it to be too, I don't think it'll be flimsy, but if you worry about it getting bent, then if you're hard on your rings, then you might wanna go with 18 gauge, but otherwise a 20 gauge should be good because you're gonna be manipulating it so that'll work hard in it in itself. 
So you're going to need, I am a very small size ring. I'm a size five, so I'm very small. I, I cut four pieces of wire in 12 inches or 30 centimeters. And that's because, like I said, I am a small size. But if you are like normally, I think it's a seven or eight, you might want to go with 35 centimeters. So you would want to go with 14 inches, if 14 or 15 inches if you have a larger ring size. You're going to need a ring mandrel, of course. And you're going to need some 26 gauge wire. And of course, your beads. And that's all basically. Oh, and I did have, I did use my cutters and my nylon gel pliers, which I used to straighten my wire. So you're going to take one of your pieces of wire of the 30, uh, 30 centimeters or 12 inches or whatever size you decided to cut. You're going to take one of these pieces of wire. And what you're going to do is you're going to leave about, I don't know why this one got bent like that. You're gonna leave about four inches. Oh, and you definitely want to use like a uh, German style wire for your ring. So like I said, so it holds its, so it holds its shape. You can use the artistic wire. You can use artistic wire for the weaving, but you definitely want a, a, a German style wire for the actual band of the ring, for the band that you're gonna weave. So you're going to take 10, you're gonna go 10 centimeters or four inches, four inches right there. What you're gonna do, and as usual, I like working off the roll, but you can cut a long piece of perhaps, I don't know, two feet or so, and just add more as you go. I hate having to add little pieces, but if you can't work off the roll, then definitely just cut long pieces of wire as long as you can handle it and then just do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one of this 26 gauge wire. We're gonna anchor it to this, to this piece of wire. So we're gonna do one, two, and three. Okay, now we're gonna bring in our next piece of wire and we'll get rid of this little lip. I left a lip here so I could hold on to the wire. We're gonna bring in our next piece of wire and every so often measure it because it starts to kind of move over. So make sure you're always within those 10 centimeters or four inches. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna bring it in and just grab and go around the second one and bring it back up just like that. See? And just kind of squish that together. Okay, so I zoomed in a little more for you guys. Hopefully you can see a little better. So then we're gonna bring our next one in. I'm gonna put it on top. And this is one of those pieces that is good to, to make while you're watching TV. And then you're going to go around, fully around the third wire that you're adding. So I'm gonna push these down. I'm gonna go around just like that. And now we've got, we've been going up these three, kind of like a little, little ladder. And now we're going to do our last one. I'm going to bring that in. And again, make sure that it's matching all these. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to go fully around this last fourth one. just like that see how we and then go through the back see how we've got it all just nice and tucked in like that okay so now that we've done that now we're going to go all the way down and we're going to start at the bottom again I'm go and I'm gonna do this a couple of times and then I'll go off and do it off camera because this otherwise this video will probably be three hours long so go but trust me that when the weave is done it is so pretty so you're gonna go around the first one and you're gonna bring it up and around fully your second wire bring that up 
go around the third wire and that up and around the top wire and bring that all the way up and that's it and this is where your nylon drop pliers come in to uh, hand and come in handy okay so see how pretty that looks right there Okay, so now we're going to again go all the way to the bottom I'm gonna do this one more time and then you can uh, rewind the video if you need to uh, see me do it again so one go around the first wire all the way around and then we're gonna go around the top the second one but when you come back down, you make sure that you're just surrounding the second wire. So you're gonna go through wire one and wire two. And you're gonna go all the way up to wire three. And you're gonna bring it down through wire two and wire three. So you're surround, you're wrapping wire three only. And then when you go up over wire four, and then you're going to Sorry, my band-aid. My I work with wire so much, my hands get dry and they peel very easily. So I'm sure you don't want to see my peeled finger. All right. So and then all the way, and you bring it all the way down. See how you 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 will start to see these little lines here, and that's okay. That's the back side. Okay. And then if you just take your your nylon jaw pliers and squish it, and that's the weave we're going to be making. Okay, so to know how much to weave, you want to make sure you want to measure your finger. So, for example, like this, you can grab a piece of paper, anything that you can wrap around your finger. Oh, tape measure. I'm just gonna grab. I I have this this chain handy, so I'm gonna grab it right there, and just kind of just to kind of get an estimate of how much you want, how much you should be weaving. So that fits me. So I'm going to take that and then I'm going to measure either inches or centimeters and that looks like I should weave about seven centimeters so about three inches it looks like so I'm going to weave three inches but don't cut your wire off first make sure that it fits so I'm going to go and do about three uh, three inches of this weave and I will be right back all right so here it is I did I ended up measuring it and I ended up with, let's see, I ended up with about, about two inches instead of the three because the three I thought would end up being too large and I came and checked it and yeah, it definitely was three inches. So make sure that you're checking your size. So for a size five, it is about three about two inches just if you're the same like me so now I'm gonna take my ring mandrel and what I'm doing is that I'm actually going a little bit larger to like five and a half because once you do all the adjustments and you you know you put all these together then it ends up it get, being the right size so what I'm gonna do is take this one here I didn't I have not disconnected the wire because that's what I'm going to do to put these together so I'm just going to bring oops, grab these bring these back a little bit bring these back a little bit like that See? and I'm going to take this one and open it and then I will take this one and put it here in between so these first two are going to cross Oop, let me make sure I'm on the right size and then this one will cross so I'm just kind of intertwining them together and just putting that one out there there that's why you know sometimes it's easier to work with a thinner wire especially if you if you just if you're just starting out with wire this one goes here this one goes here and I think this one goes in the middle of these two I'm pretty sure I've got them all 
Yep. See how I have them all nice and put together like this. And now I can tighten this up like that. Make sure you hold on to it. And you've got a good tight grip on that. So then, oops. It ended up looking, obviously, let me just, I might end up with a bigger ring, and if it's too big for me, then I will have to sell it. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I think, well, I could probably fit it in my middle finger once it's, once it's set. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is take this, make sure that it's nice and make sure that you keep it nice and tight. I'm going to cut this wire here, nice long piece, and then I'm just going to wrap the center here. Just to hold these two together. The, uh, the two sides, I mean, together. And like that. Keep pulling these together. Like that. And like that. Now you want it to still stay pretty pretty closed up so this one this wire I'm going to bring over here this wire I'm going to bring over here to tighten that up and then this wire because like I said you're crossing them over let's see so I did this so I'm going to bring this one here this way, sorry, opposite sides again. And again, it's just to make sure that your ring will not pop open. And then I'm going to take this one and then this one over here, like that. And then again. And it won't, this won't, crisscrossing won't show once we put our beads on. This one goes, I'll pull this one tight. See, because they want to separate. So, bringing these tight here. And this one right there and then again I'm going to bring this one here so basically I'm twisting the wires that's what's happening over here twisting these wires this wire is going to help me to make sure that our, our weave is going to stay all right so now we have our our ring done with the wires twisted back and forth just to make sure that our our ring doesn't come loose it's, and it is going to fit my finger i tried it on and it fits my middle finger which will be fine it'll look really pretty look at how pretty the the inside looks so let's finish and we're going to leave let me just straighten this out here so i'm going to cut up to eight centimeters which is about three inches so now what you do is you put your first bead here like this and you're going to start to turn it and kind of make like a frame around the wire hold your bead nice and tight see how see how it's going like that
I was able to do two twists. What we want to do is one twist. So let's do six millimeters. I mean, six centimeters. All right, so now I have cut them all to six centimeters and I'm just gonna start speeding through this so you guys can see how I lay them down. So there they are, all on here, isn't that pretty? Well, if you like, you know, these, uh, you can, if you don't like it to be this bulky, you can certainly use smaller beads, but I like the way this one really pops. And you can just kind of rearrange them to look a little bit better. You know, just kind of have a little more harmony like that. Look how pretty that is. Oh, so cute. I have another one like this, but the beads are smaller. And I think I like this one better. See, what do you guys think? Don't mind the, uh, the watermelon. Like I said, it's kind of big for this finger, but I can certainly wear it on this one. Or give it away as a Christmas present, one or the other. But, isn't that pretty? And also another tip, if you have a hard time, like see right now, it doesn't look, I don't know to you guys, but it doesn't look round to me. So what I like to do is bring it in the mandrel and then take a nylon, nylon head uh, hammer and just kind of go around. And hammer it into place if, you know, put, pulling it because you don't want to stretch it so down your mandrel that you end up misshaping it you know pulling it apart from up top even though right now it's like on there for good but see how it helped if you can see see how it helped make it nice and round if you like it can you imagine making one I have enough beads for another one so I might make a second one in a different size and put it up on my Etsy shop so let me know in the comments what you guys think. And so that is, and then for like these other um, strands, we didn't get to make anything here in this video, but stay tuned for any uh, short videos because I'm, I'm incorporating short videos into my channel. So you can, if you have a little chance in one minute, you can find some inspiration with some of these. Um, and along with my long form so definitely if you don't like you know if you know somebody that just likes information you know tutorials that are fast and easy then please share my shorts with them otherwise you know uh, my next unboxing will be uploaded soon and if you're new to my channel and you like the, either this kind of long content or even the short content please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button along with the bell that's right next to it so you get notified the next time I upload a new video but for now, I'm going to direct you to this unboxing of another ambassador kit and I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching.